What's up, guys, and welcome back to Beyond the Void Horror Podcast. My name is Alex, and today we're going to be doing a spoiler-free review of a Shutter movie that just came out called Brooklyn 45. Let's check it out. Now, Brooklyn 45 is a movie that has been directed and written by Ted Gagan. It is a chamber drama, as he calls it, which is like those movies like The Hateful Eight that Tarantino did, where they all have this drama go on in the middle of a single room and things get crazy. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Ted Gagan, he's done other movies like We Are Still Here, Mohawk, and plenty of other films. He's run the gamut of schlocky all the way to very serious and even thoughtful. So what is Brooklyn 45 all about? Well, Brooklyn 45 means 1945 because this is at the end of World War II where multiple different vets are meeting up for a party. This is essentially directly after, a couple of months after the Japanese surrendered. It's around Christmas and one of the vets is trying to bring everybody together that are all childhood friends that have all lived through the World War II drama and to confess something that has been troubling them. When the metaphorical ghosts of their past come back to haunt them, things get all too literal. Now, I say this is a chamber drama. It is very much a drama in a lot of ways. It's like a thriller with a touch of like horror dressing on it. It's not going to be a scary film or anything like that. It's just going to have elements of horror that are in it. These are very adjacent things and also can be kind of combined in my opinion. For one, War is hell, and there is a lot of terminology that describes it as such because it is. Whether you are scared of that or not, it doesn't really matter. This isn't an intentionally scary movie. That said, this movie is much more leaning on the drama. It is about these vets that are all meeting up. Their friend, of course, has had some serious things happen uh, over the past couple of weeks or so. His wife had passed away, and he was asking them to come together to do a seance. And that is what the trailer has really exposed to us. After the seance, things go pretty wild. People start pointing fingers at one another, and there is a lot of questions to be had as to what has happened. An event after the seance really sends everyone into a tailspin of questions and pointing fingers, and that's where we get this whole chamber drama sort of thing. This is really kind of dealing with some pretty heavy topics. I mean, we are dealing with World War II vets, and some of these people had to do some pretty gnarly things in the war. So they talk about that quite a bit in the film. Now, with all these different types of personalities involved in the, this one movie, all dealing with World War II, it's hard not to paint a little bit of a fucking mirror to today's world in a sort of microcosm setting in this one room full of different types of people. Now, I'm not going to get into all of that because this is a spoiler-free review, but I will say that there are some political things in here, but it's not a heavy-leaning, pushing, or any kind of agenda sort of film in that regard. It's really just kind of part of the time frame in which these people are dealing with. Like I said, this is directly after the end of World War II. These are vets that have already been through hell, and they're basically just coming to terms with another situation at hand. Now, there is some gore. There is some violence. There is a little bit of supernatural stuff going on in this film but it is not heavy on the horror side like i said just a lot of really great performances by a lot of really great actors who some are big some are smaller the acting in here is fantastic the storytelling is also fantastic the finger pointing and the tension and the sort of vibe of this movie really just a really good job of doing what ted really wanted to do with this film it's not going to be for everybody i don't think it feels a lot like a tales from the crypt kind of episode where there's like a sort of story but there's also kind of a, a hidden meaning and kind of a deeper message that is in, tucked into this sort of uh, dark tale. It's an hour and a half but it definitely feels within that range maybe not as comical and of course with really good acting as well so we have a lot of actors and actresses that are in this film, actually one actress her name is Anne Ramsey who is fantastic in this film she's always really good. We got Ronnie Raines Jeremy Holm from 
um, the Ranger. You remember that Ranger movie with the punk kids out in the forest goes around killing everybody. I was just talking about that film and the producers for, for the podcast just this week. It's funny. We also have Larry Fessenden. He's a horror fan favorite. And of course, the Ted gang and alumni from We Are Still Here and quite a lot of other things. They're good buddies in real life. And we get Ezra Buzzington and Christina Klieb. Uh, it does feel very fast paced in a lot of ways, but it also is not going to be an action packed thrill ride movie. Uh, there are some things that I was kind of hoping and expecting from this movie that I didn't get. I was kind of hoping that this would lean a little bit more on We Are Still Here, which is kind of a splatter fest by the end of that movie. And it's a wild film. We get a little bit more of a meaningful message here that I think will kind of, you know, hit people in different ways. There may be some that may find this boring. There may be some that find this actually super intriguing. But I think it is a definitely a good film. I'm kind of sitting on the fence with this about a seven and a half to eight. It is definitely well done. It is a smaller independent kind of feature. So just remember, it's not like a big budget film and everyone involved I loved. But yeah, it's it's definitely on a smaller scale, definitely lighter on the horror. And, um, you know, it's on Shutter right now. So if you want to just check it out, part of the subscription, it's well worth the watch. It's nice to see a really independent film that doesn't have a whole lot of money, but just kind of relies on the acting and doing something special with that. There's something to be said about a chamber film like that because it's not easy to direct. And a lot of people think, oh, well, we can just, you know, it's it, because it's in one area, that's boring. But for a technical aspect or from a director's standpoint, it's a challenging, very challenging thing to do as a filmmaker. Good to really kind of push the boundaries to see what you can do with a small film that's just stuck in one area but yeah it's very hard for me to describe this film without ruining it and spoiling it because it is such a condensed story but there is a lot of moving parts that are going on in the film with different characters and such it really is relying on the characters and the acting and the performances to really paint the scene here and i think if you're into those kind of films that you know isn't exactly scary then i think you might like this if you want to check it out, like I said, you can check it out on Shutter right now. I highly recommend it. It may not be for everybody, like I said, but just check it out, see what you think, and uh, get back to me. But other than that, thank you so much for coming by. Really appreciate your support. I'm going to try like hell this month to get some extra movies out for you guys. It has been very difficult. My sleep thing it has been really screwing me over, and I'm trying, so bear with me if you could share this with somebody like and comment to help boost the algorithms of these videos it really means a lot to me but other than that let me know what you think in the comment section down below hit the little bell notification to let you know when i got a new video coming out but other than that thanks again and as always long live the void